Welcome back HMI fans. If you thought our previous video on Siemens Unified Comfort Panels was a thrill ride, you're in for a treat today. In this video, we are going to take a deeper dive into the world of Siemens HMI panels and explore the different models and options available to help you choose the perfect fit for your unique application needs. And hey, if you missed our last video, don't worry, there's still time to catch up and join the HMI revolution. So in this video, once we've covered the basics, we'll give you an uh, up close and personal look at two different HMI panel hardwares to see how they look and what are the differences. But that's not all. We'll also walk you through the operating system or OS of the HMI panels and their key settings after you power them up. And then we'll uh, show you just how easy it is to get started programming your very own HMI panel using WinCC Advanced in the TIA portal IDE. So sit back, grab your favorite snack and get ready for this comprehensive tutorial on Siemens HMI panels. In this section, let's assume uh, you are an automation engineer or a uh, designer maybe and you are trying to find the right HMI uh, panel for your project based on your requirements. Of course, you and your company doesn't want to pay for something that you don't need and you don't want to buy something that doesn't meet your project requirements in a short term or maybe in a long term. So the first thing you want to do, you want to do a very comprehensive research about different options available for you. What are the limitations? What are the features that you need? And uh, which part number meets your requirement? I already covered the Simatic Unified Comfort Panels in a separate video. I put the link again, maybe somewhere here on the top. Uh, but in this section, we are going to see what other options are available for you when you need a HMI panel and what Siemens has to offer to you. So with a quick search, you will find the main page of Siemens HMI panels website. And if you just scroll down, you will see this uh, nice uh, picture uh, or graph, let's say, that um, kind of shows different categories of HMI in the Siemens portfolio. As you see here, the first category is this basic HMI panels, which consists of the key panels and basic HMI panels. We'll get through the details of each section in the next few seconds. But uh, the next uh, category is advanced HMI, which can be the PC base or the panel base. The panel base uh, consists of uh, comfort panels and also the mobile panels. Again, I'm going to explain all of these terms and uh, uh, like what, what does mobile panel mean and what does comfort panel mean. Um, and also the advanced HMI consists of PC based. Um, basically, you can host your HMI program on a IPC or on a VM on your server in your company or any other machine. So on the same page, if you go up, you will see different categories and with a brief explanation for each category. Uh, so the first category, as I mentioned, basic HMI panels consists of uh, a Simatic HMI key panels, which are uh, like this one over here. This uh, category consists of some keys or you know the keypad for adding some um, interaction between the user and your machine by some simple clicks on different buttons. But um, uh, please keep in mind these devices can be connected to network. The next subcategory is the Simatic HMI basic panel. So this is the first uh, or the basic option for you if you just want to have a color screen with a touch panel or maybe some keys with different options to your project. I don't have the prices, but I think this is the cheapest option for, you, for your project. We can uh, go to the detail of each subcategory, I already open it. As you see, if you go to the basic panels, you will have different options but based on your screen size and you know the features like Ethernet or Profibus connectivity, SD card if you need or not, and so on. So 
in the hands-on section i'm going to show you exactly how a 7 inch or T, uh, ktp uh, 700 look like and uh, we'll go and look at that together again if you go to this page on the detail page you will see the basic panel itself divides into three different categories the first one is the standard basic panels which are ktp panels and they consist of the tft display and touch panel in the middle and a keypad on the bottom uh, come in different sizes 4 inch 7 inch 9 inch and 12 inch and the next category is the c plus this is more rugged it kind of added an extended uh, temperature uh, range or you know it's, it's more rugged for more rugged environments in this subcategory in the basic panel and also there is a basic panel keyless which is just purely touch screen with a nice border it's better looking if you just don't need those physical keypads similar to c plus and standard that's the way you go you can just use the tp panels and uh, in the hands-on section i'm going to show you a ktp 700 basic and we'll walk you through how does it look like and what are the components on the hardware let's jump into the hmi uh, comfort panels as the next choice for your project so if you want uh, an hmi with more advanced features uh, you might consider getting the comfort panel uh, instead of a, a basic panel the comfort panel as i will show you in the hands-on section as well an operating system is a windows ce uh, but the basic panel has the siemens develop uh, or its own customized operating system it's not windows or it's not uh, linux i assume the, um, that's the key to know the comfort panel use the windows ce so the comfort panels as i said um, they provide more advanced features uh, compared to the basic one and itself uh, will be divided into five subcategories based on different applications the first one is the standard comfort panels and based on different sizes you can select and uh, i will uh, show you in the hands-on a four inch then i will show you how does it look like exactly as you see here you have a four seven nine twelve fifteen and nineteen inches and uh, the next uh, subcategory is the comfort panel pro pro I mean doesn't mean professional it means protected so in this category or subcategory some extended functionality has been added uh, mainly for the ip protection for to to the device compared to the standard comfort panel and uh, as you see you can just go to this website and see what are the options for example you will see the profi safe has been added to this HMI panel and this is a very nice feature to have and also of course it's protected under the um, uh, IP65 so you will get more protection for more harsh environment the next subcategory is comfort pan inox or inox this is more for industry specific uh, this is more for uh, food and beverage or pharmaceutical where you know everything needs to be super fine and clean so this this subcategory have like a glass touch screen and also they have a stainless steel frame uh, so they are pretty nice i mean easy to clean and so these are the standard industry standards so the next subcategory as the name says is the so comfort panel outdoor this is perfect for you know applications such as oil and gas or overall the harsh environments that you need extended let's say temperature or protection that's the way to go and the last but not least subcategory in the comfort panels are c plus comfort panels and uh, so this is for very harsh environment let's say a resistance to aggression chemical biological and mechanically active with gases and salt mist i can think of some applications such as mining maybe you can use c plus comfort panels and uh, yeah overall this is designed for rugged environments another choice or group of hmi panels that you might consider to use in your project is hmi mobile panels so unlike other hmi panels that they they should be installed on a let's say a panel door or on a din rail these HMI panels are portable basically as the name says they are mobile so 
The um, one simple application is using it uh, to control a moving machine or maybe a robot, robotic cell. Different models come in different features and one of them comes with a failsafe uh, feature which you have an ESL on top of the HMI panel as you see here and it's very handy if something goes wrong with the machine or robotic cell you can just quickly shut it down uh, overall this, this uh, category mobile device acts as an uh, let's say a rugged tablet or portable HMI uh, overall as you see mobile panels are divided in three different categories the fail safe one is standard and hand wheel one the hand wheel one has some extra components for different application and the standard one apparently doesn't have that fail safe feature well you can just use it uh, for any moving uh, component or machine in the next section i'm going to show you two different hmis and we'll walk you through uh, the components the operating system and in the last uh, sections of this video we are going to configure those panels and do a programming or very simple configuration in the TIA portal application so in this section I'm going to show you the real HMI devices uh, for two different categories one from the Simatic uh, basic HMI and one from the uh, comfort panels and as you can see here I'm going to show you a 7 inch uh, basic panel and also one 4 inch or KTP 400 comfort panels I'm going to walk you through the hardware I'm going, we are going to uh, power it up and see how it looks after the startup and then we are going to do a quick programming and configuration for HMIs so uh, stay tuned and get ready for the next section You can see here I have a KTP basic HMI panel and also I have a KTP 400 comfort panel in a second we are going to power them up and see what you will see in a, after the boot but let's quickly look at the hardware itself and see what do they have what ports they offer and so on so let's start with the big KTP 700 basic as you see here the the frame is very solid and very rugged for the industrial environment for sure. You have eight um, hardware keys over here on the bottom and you have the touch screen, seven inch touch screen in the middle. And on the back side, of course, you see the part numbers. I'm not sure if you can see them. And uh, some information about the certifications that this device has. And on the bottom, you have the first on the left side the connector for the power uh, maybe i can just bring it closer over here if you can see it's a 24 volt dc power supply and you have one usb port over here for you know getting the backup maybe of your panel if you want to do so and also logging some data to it and so on and this device only has um, the ethernet port or the profinet uh, port that you can connect it to your plc for data exchange between the plc and uh, that's pretty much it i mean there is no sd card on this specific model there are other models that they offer that but this specific model doesn't have anything else it's just usb ethernet and power supply and then you can just power it up so the next panel is the KTP 400 Comfort. As I mentioned, these are more advanced HMIs. Uh, of course, you have options for, you know, uh, the bigger one. This is just the smallest one that I have for testing. And as you see here on the back, again, you have the standard Siemens label and uh, the certification that this device has. And on the bottom, you have four keys on a keypad and the four inch touch screen again very solid and um, robust let's call frame but this is tiny thing is loaded with different functions and components let's start from the left side uh, you have a profibus dp port over here so you can connect this hmi to your profibus uh, dp devices let's say plc s7 300 1500 1200 uh, or maybe other PLCs 
and um, you have a micro USB also over here besides uh, Ethernet or the Profinet uh, ports on, on the, in the middle. And also you have a standard size USB again for you can just use them for you know connecting your thumb drive uh, basically to or USB flash drive to log some data or doing the backup and so on and of course you have the power connector over here yeah as you can see and it's again this one this model is 24 volt DC and last but not least on the right side as you might see over here let me just move it around you have two SD cards as you see one SD card is called system which has to be a Siemens SD card the other one is data which can be any type of uh, basically SD card and if you just open this lid you can uh, see the slots for two SD cards I'm not sure you can see it yeah okay you can just basically remove the SD card that's the system SD card and the data SD card over here very nice design for protecting the SD cards okay so that's for the hardware let's uh, just power them up side by side and see what are the differences and uh, let's do a quick walkthrough through the operating system a few after you power them up okay after connecting the power connector uh, they are both up and running and as you see here the landing page after the startup it looks the same I mean it gives you the same context they don't look the same but there is a huge difference between these two basic and comfort panel which you have to know the the main difference is the comfort panels are based on the Windows CE while the other ones are not I mean the basic uh, basic panels are not based on Windows CE I don't know what is the, the operating system called I'm not sure if it's publicly available but um, similar to many other HMI panels in the market they have their own operating system um, developed by Siemens for sure and uh, so maybe I'll just quickly start with the basic panel because it has less options and we can just quickly wrap it up the first options as you see here is a transfer option and you can basically transfer your program uh, via the USB port as I showed on the bottom uh, or even Profinet or using the Ethernet connection between the TI portal software and this device and you can uh, so over here you can start the runtime if you if you already download the project in them in this device and then the other option is the setting as you see here there is a icon for different purposes for example if you want to do the service and commissioning uh, which means you can do a backup or you can restore basically your your project um, or you can do a um, user management you can just basically change your uh, users you can change your backup and so on uh, sorry the, the password and so on but uh, this one doesn't have that program yet so we can do it here and uh, yes let's go back to the main setting page of course you can set up the date and time you can define after the touch you want to hear the sound or not and the system information uh, of course you can set up the auto auto start for for the runtime that means if you will you just connect the power you just want to directly go to your your project or your program another uh, setting is the network interface of course you can set up the IP address and the Ethernet parameters um, basically different like traditional or like a normal Ethernet and Profinet device okay let's go back to the main setting and the internet setting of course this device can be connected to the internet same like IP address if you want to add a certificate and so on and you can display an operating of course you can set up a screen server for your your HMI um, 
for example, if if some if the HMI has not been um, touched for an extended period of time, you just want to show a picture or something like that. And as you can see here, the brightness of the screen server also can be adjusted from zero to 100 percent and uh, you also have the touch you can calibrate your touch screen using this menu and in the display of course the one of the cool features of this hmi is you can just use it in a uh, landscape or the portrait mode like this one as you see here you can just use it vertically and so on but yeah and uh, again the brightness can be adjusted based on if you have less light in in your plants where this hmi is mounted you can just adjust it here and that's about it a uh, very simple basically operating system but a very powerful hmi Totally recommend this for basic application if you just want to have a basic interface between your machine or your system and your PLC. Let's go back, go to the KTP comfort panel. As I said, this is a standard Windows CE. Uh, we already talked about the other category of Siemens uh, panels, which is called the uh, unified comfort panel. As we saw over there, we used uh, Siemens is uh, using Linux. For the operating system but here in the traditional ktp comfort panels uh, siemens uses uh, windows and of course as you see here you have kind of similar uh, group of setting you can just go to your setting um, but definitely you have more options here uh, you can just define you can just connect the mouse or keyboard to this device you can manage your certificate for secure data communication and uh, of course date and time profinet settings screensaver these are just a standard and self-explanatory i don't want to spend time on those but uh you know it's just a windows you can you just need to basically double click and for example let me just uh, turn this off okay Yes, so the service and commission again, just the same name, different views, and you can just close this. Another option, just a very cool, the Windows taskbar. As I said, it's a Windows C if you're familiar with the Windows C from Microsoft. You have the Windows taskbar, you have the programs, you have the Internet Explorer browser. You have the media player, just the traditional Windows basically options. The Excel viewer, Microsoft Word viewer, and different options. That's about the quick tour about the hardware. And um, of course, if you have any question, let me know. It's up to you and your application, which one you wanna select, the basic one or the comfort panels. Let's jump into the TA portal and configure the, this HMI panel. If you're in an interesting part of the video, let's create a project into a portal and connect to our HMI and write our first program in uh, Cinematic WinCC Advance. Uh, something that I forgot to mention is similar to Unified Comfort Panel that I showed you, they are equipped with the remote connectivity. Uh, HMI Comfort Panel also have that feature. That means uh, you can use the same software called um, smart client to remotely connect to your HMI panel and operate it remotely. So I set up the IP address for this HMI panel to be 192.168.0.102 and I just hit the enter and I enter the password that I defined for it. And so this is the exact screen that I'm seeing on the actual HMI, if you can see it over here okay yeah and as you see here if i just open a screen you will see just the mirror of the screen okay, let me show you how i set up the ip address and apparently you go to the setting and you see you have only one ethernet ethernet or profinet connection and you can just set up your ip address here 
Of course, you can set it to obtain the IP address um, automatically via DHCP and other Ethernet settings. Just going to close this one and maybe we'll open it after we finish our programming. Okay, so I'm in TIA portal. I just go to create a new project and let's call it Block IoT KTP 400 and it's version 18. I'm using the Vin uh, TA portal version 18, the latest version. Okay, so the project is created. The next step is adding a new device. We can just go to our project view and we can add a new device. Okay, as you can see here, you have different options for different type of HMIs. As I mentioned, we have the basic panels, comfort panels, unified comfort panels, which we explain in different videos. I put the link up below, up uh, over here. A mobile panel, C plus and C plus rail, different type of panels. So for example, we are using a Simatic comfort panel for inch and that's KTP 400. Okay, and I'm just going to hit the OK. Once you add the device, it will prompt you a wizard which you can easily configure your HMI panel. As you see here, if I had a, a, a PLC configured in my TI portal project, you could just simply select it from the list and that's the engineering efficiency and art of TA portal. You, everything is connected together. You can just quickly drag and drop between different um, screens to quickly connect things together. And uh, over here, you can define if you wanna have a header in your panel. It just um, lets you select what information you wanna put. I mean, you can customize this later too, but this is just a wizard to save some time. For example, if I don't want to show the active alarm system or the pending alarm, I can just deselect them from here. But for now, I'm just going to keep them all. And again, um, I can design my screens over here. For example, let's add a screen. Um, I just want to rename it to a screen one. And from there, maybe we can have another screen. Let's call it a screen two. So for the system screen, you can just basically select different options which, um, which is available for your specific model. For example, here, I can just, uh, I can just add the user administration page to my project easily, project information, Simatic uh, PLC. I can have my watch table directly shown on my HMI panel. I can have the system like stop run time. This is important. I always keep this one system information. Yeah, maybe for now, let's just activate all of them. And that's pretty much it. As I said, you can just customize this later, but for now, I just use device. I just wanted to show you, you can, you can use this wizard to uh, basically speed up your project implementation. Let's just start with the menus maybe. So as I said, the first thing you wanna do, you, you wanna go to your HMI settings and you wanna set up your IP address. Okay, the default is 02. My HMI IP address is 192.168.0.102, so I assign that. And of course, this is the MPI and DP. If you wanna assign your MPI address, this is a different topic. Maybe we'll have a, another video about Profibus. So next folder you wanna look at, these are your screen. So you see, but this is as a result of your or wizard, basically. Uh, as you see, it added, we added these two screen manually. We have some system screen um, defined by default after selections, and that's it. Okay. And if you want to connect it to a PLC or another device, you just go to connections, 
you can just add a connection depends what you want to connect to this specific model can be connected to use as you see in too many options you can connect it to a logo you can connect it to alan bradley mitsubishi modicon and even opc ua you know this tiny device supports opc ua of course all siemens plcs over uh, i mean um, 1500 1200 200 was a very old one it's obsolete now you can uh, use 1200 instead so anyways you can define your connections on this page but for now we're just going to use internal tags for testing let's just quickly define a few tags because you want to do some data manipulation um, tag one i just want to because it does int tag two int tag three maybe bool and tag four let's go back to our screen that's my root screen or my main screen so all i want to do on, my, on the main screen maybe we can just add a text over here as you see you can just drag and drop the objects from the uh, toolbox palette and you can just start typing i can just select the font from the top oh. Okay, let's go to our screen one and uh, let's add a slider object. Yeah, I just drag and drop. HMI design is, is uh, to me, it's like an art. You have to spend a lot of time to kind of understand what you need in your plan and then you can implement it. So, okay, so here I just wanna go back to my tags. As you see here, that's the art of TI portal, the engineering efficiency. As you see, I'm just dragging and dropping the tags on the screen. I just wanna connect it to this. You see, I just drag and drop from the detail view to any screen that I want. Okay, that's my screen one. Let's go and put another object on screen two and we'll add a gauge. Okay, again, we are going to our tags. Let's use tag two this time on the process tag. I just go here. Same for the slider. Okay, let's do a quick compile and um, we can download to our HMI. To download to your HMI, you just uh, select your project, hit the download button on the top top menu do a quick search i know that's my hmi you see device type ip address and i do a load okay so we just want to overwrite all because i already had some uh, program in the hmi the loading is completed so let's just take the advantage of remote connectivity offered by comfort panels we can just remotely connect to the panel and here is my hmi screen again this is exactly what i see on the actual hmi let's just maximize this that's exactly how it looks i mean again you can also have a, a simulated if you don't have a physical hardware if you want to test it for sure but for demonstration i wanted to make sure you you see a physical device just for demonstration maybe i'll work off the hmi panel you can see the result on my screen this is specific um, hmi that i'm using for demonstration is very small the four inch it's uh, very hard to put objects like you know gauge and a slider you have to be very careful what object you use and add and you know add more features to your hmi and uh, as you see the alarm views they can be viewed over here the user administration window you can just uh, log in as different user that you define in your project and uh, of course you can go to your root screen and also from the top you can select different screens and for example let's go to our system screens and as i mentioned these are these are the screens that we define in the wizard so we can go to our plc connection we don't have any plc connection here but you could use this feature uh, user administration the system information 
okay just just uh, different information that you can uh, basically give to the operator uh, try to keep the HMI as simple as possible I mean visually you can just write the code or you're gonna can configure it in the back end to implement some advanced tasks but make the user interface as simple as possible in my opinion as far as you 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 provide the information to the to the user you should define but that's about it for the video today and uh, please uh, do make sure you put the comment here if you have any question of course you cannot cover everything in one video but um, i hope this video was useful and in the next session we are just doing a quick summary and we'll end this video As you saw, Siemens offers a wide range of HMI products for your unique applications. Whether you are a small machine builder or you are an R, you're working as a part of an R&D team, you can find the HMI panel for your automation project uh, in Siemens portfolio. But personally, what I suggest, if you are just starting a greenfield project, you are thinking about 10 years ahead, five years ahead, or many, even more, I totally suggest to go with the unified comfort panel because that's the future of HMI based on web technologies and you know JavaScript and the latest technology and that's exactly where the IT and OT merge but uh, you know that doesn't um, decrease the value of other HMI panels offered by Siemens such as a comfort panels or comfort outdoor panels mobile panels uh, and more so let me know what you think about the, the HMI world of the future have you used any Siemens products what have been uh, your experience if you have any question please feel free to reach out to me directly on the comment below or connect with me on LinkedIn and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow our, our page on LinkedIn that will help us a lot to grow this channel and provide you more content like this. Okay, until the next time, have a great day.